Was it my PhD has given me? Oh. A PhD in statistics is... We don't, we don't talk about it. Um... My PhD in statistics has given me such excellent preparation for a future career in infectious disease modelling. Um, so my name is Ruth McCabe um, and I'm a doctoral student here in statistics um, and I work within the statistical epidemiology and genetics group. It's not called that is it? Statistical genetics and epidemiology and you know when I look back on when I first started I can really see that I've improved so much not just technically but sort of as an all-rounded individual who can um, yeah not just undertake technical research but communicate that um, to the wider scientific community and to those people who are less technical. I think statistics is sort of a bit unique as a field of study in terms of how different like, like public perception is from what it is and what it means as opposed to what it actually is. If you have some people like me, I, I spend a lot of my day coding. There's a lot of people who spend a lot of time thinking and like reading lots and then other people who are just scribbling on the whiteboard all day, like lots of complicated equations that I don't understand. The research process is just extremely fascinating in itself. It's a process of breaking down into smaller parts, narrowing, the, narrowing down the narrative and also working on the several smaller segment of it and then solving the, um, solving the smaller problems and then coming, uh, like kind of putting everything together is extremely satisfying. Uh, what makes stats so collaborative in a sense is like even the way that it is structured, it just predisposes people to sort of, you know, sit down and have a chat either about research or about, you know, daily life or PhD struggles or whatever it might be. It's like if I have an idea that's sort of in more, you know, machine learning theory, for example, even though that's not really my field, I know exactly who to go to. Yeah. And so like, oh, what do you think of this? And then they can tell me, oh, that's a horrible idea. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice because we have sort of, you know, the immediate ability to sort of speak with students or faculty in sort of any area of stats and yeah. sort of bounce ideas off. Like yeah. Oxford, Ox Oxford is the best city in the world. Like that is my honest opinion. I think, um, yeah, it's it's an amazing place. Yeah, I just really enjoy the student community here. We have different colleges in Oxford. For example, I'm in Christchurch, and there's a lot of student activity. We have like formal dinners. We get to meet meet like various alumni coming from all different disciplines. Like it's been fascinating years for me at Oxford. My thinking was always that Oxford was where I wanted to study. I think that's because. It's a world leader in research. The students here, the professors here, everything is at such a world standard. And yeah, if you can study here, why wouldn't you want to? Thank you very much.